Hey, someone asked me to do a video for drawing brick and stone, so here you go. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it helps. Uh, I broke my paper off into three areas here, and I'm just going to draw a basic grid in pencil. Pencil just to get it started. So, um, I was going to just do it randomly, but uh, just for technical reasons, I'm... I'm going to try to keep my uh, my uh, my grid even. This is for the brick. By the way, what I do is I draw a grid out in pencil first, just to give me my proper uh, scale and that, that all the individual bricks look even. So it doesn't matter how big you make them. Um, I'm just using five millimeters as my line. I'm not too sure my my screen flipped over upside down like that, but. Uh, um, anyways, yeah, so each, the grid is five millimeters by five millimeters, so, and, and I just start drawing the, uh, individual bricks in an uh, ink pen, uh, try to keep them the same size, uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to, um, anal with my, <clears throat> my detail or, or my, uh, tactical uh, appearance so it's just uh, for representation this uh, video so you get the point right so it's actually good maybe to keep your bricks a little bit uh, um, not perfect it makes it look a little more natural more grungy or if, if you want to draw like an older building just you know keep your uh, uh, lines free and, and, and you don't have to uh, <clears throat> be perfect with all your bricks right so I spit up the camera here so you don't have to watch the entire thing so this is optional but uh, if you want to go back over top of the uh, um, the grout between the bricks and just darken it up with your uh, ink pen that's that's fine you don't have to I just do it just to make them stand out that's all usually brick uh, mortar is actually lighter color than the brick itself so usually brick mortar is actually a light gray uh, not a not a dark gray or black but uh, I, I just like the look of it, just to make them uh, stick out more. So you'll understand uh, in a second why I did it like this. So I'm just going to show different uh, techniques here. I'm just putting some dotted dots on the bricks. So that's just one idea. Or you can do uh, uh, some uh, vertical line hatching as well. Or you can go diagonal, just to give a little bit of a, of a shading on the on the bricks. It, on your drawings, uh, try to use one style of of uh, texture. So if you're going to do diagonal hatching like this here, uh, use it for all the bricks in your drawings. Don't switch to different types of. Uh, um, of uh, texture on your brick so so here it's the same thing again just diagonal hatching I'm just going a little bit darker this time that's all so then you can actually mix the two up so I'm actually no I'm, I'm just sorry I should say I'm just not I'm just sort of skipping every other brick here so just giving a different pattern so I'm just showing you different uh, ideas that's all so now right now I'm just going to mix up some uh, water with a little bit of ink, black ink. Um, <clears throat> so we diluted and I'm going to uh, apply it uh, with a uh, watercolor brush. So 
Sorry, you can't really see what's going on here. I'm a bit off camera. I need to shake my ink. I think this I actually like the most myself is uh, just to go use it use this I don't I'm not really into the hatching too much I, I kind of like this to uh, use a little bit of uh, ink wash actually to show uh, uh, to put on my drawings at the end here so and leave a little leave a lot of the white areas I did that too you know leave some white areas there too just to give it some uh, texture and uh, so this last part here, I'm just going right over the entire thing. So, so there you go. So there's uh, different uh, brick ideas you can do. So, so here I'm going to do some uh, stone facade. Um, try to keep your uh, uh, try to keep it fairly loose and free. Don't put too much thought into it, and just be pretty random. But uh, maybe pick like uh, four or five. Um, stone ideas and just repeat them over and over again randomly so sorry my camera there went blurry I think that camera issue I don't think I'm ever going to resolve it with this camera I don't know why it does that so it just goes out of focus like that for no reason at all I think it focuses on my hand I focus it, then I turn off the autofocus, um, but I think sometimes I forget to turn off the autofocus, so when I put my hand in the camera, it focuses on the top of my hand, and uh, it, the image unfortunately goes blurry, so, so just bear with it, it will refocus itself um, shortly. Yeah, and I'm left-handed too, and I, I keep on forgetting. I gotta remind myself to work from the uh, the right to the left, so that way you're not. Uh, um, what I'm doing before isn't uh, blocked by my hand. It's one of the uh, issues of being uh, left-handed. Um, sometimes. So right here, I'm just giving you a little demo um, uh, of different. Uh, um, when your when your brickwork comes together, just try to keep a T um, on your intersections there, and uh, so those are the right ones to do. And this is actually the wrong one to do. Don't do a uh, four-way intersection like that, so because it doesn't look natural and it it, it will um, stand out and. Uh, it can ruin the whole thing quite a bit so because it will throw off your pattern especially when you're doing brick it should always be a T like don't do that crisscross don't do that um, because it will totally uh, uh, destroy the uh, brick pattern completely so here I'm just doing some dots um, Similar with what I did with the brick, I'm just showing you different ideas of how you could uh, um, texture the uh, stone. Some diagonal cross hatching here. Oh yeah, this is where I just, uh, I leave all the small stones uh, blank. So if you had like stones that was like different shades, then maybe you can do that there. Just leave the small ones blank. Or you can darken the, darken the small ones and leave the big ones uh, um, blank. So 
So I'm using that same uh, ink wash here again. Um, keep in mind, leave some white areas. Uh, just it gives it a, more of a, uh, a natural appearance. Or if you want to just go right over it, you can do that too. If it's like a, a dark scene, yeah, just completely uh, paint over the whole thing like that. So. And right here is uh, River Rock, uh, stone facade. Actually, I think I probably find this the most difficult because uh, um, yeah, you, you want to keep your uh, um, your mortar uh, area as small as possible. So so sometimes you can use a little tiny rocks just to fill in the uh, the uh, voids. Aren't you glad I sped my camera up? It'd be pretty boring to watch. Yeah, something I didn't show you earlier, just go back over it after you do your line drawing and just go back over it with your uh, eraser. Electric eraser is great if you have one. So they're about $15 on Amazon if you if you decide to get one. And the little erasers are, are super, super cheap. It came with a bunch, so um, it'll probably have it for another five years before I have to buy new erasers. So. So you use the same techniques as before, the same type of hatching. Pretty much the same everything. So I'm doing this similar too. I'm actually leaving the uh, smaller stones um, plain and just hatching out the, uh, the larger ones. Again, it's just your preference, but uh, just give you a few ideas of what you can do. So, so I didn't color in the other shade in the, the other mortar on those uh, river rocks, but this one area here, I'll do it just to show you if you want to make your your stones, uh, your river rock uh, stand out more. You can do that. So. So you can use your ink pen or you can uh, do your uh, uh, ink wash to uh, uh, color in the, uh, the um, mortar between the stones there. So I probably should have used a smaller brush, but I think just for demonstration purposes, I, I, I just didn't really care really. So. So if we're doing textures, it doesn't matter if you're doing river rock, brick, or stone. It's the same process for doing texture, really. Nothing, nothing really different. So. You can use pencil crayon, too. You can use uh, colored uh, watercolor, acrylic, anything you want, actually. But uh, I like working with the, the, the ink. So yeah, just showing us a few little samples of what you can, what you should do. It's the same thing. Don't try not to have a uh, a four-way intersection with your stone, and uh, it'll just make it look a lot better. So. Yeah. Okay. So like maybe don't do that. So thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, thank you very much and God bless.